Yeah, what's it been like for him? Because you see videos, like for me watching, you see some of the videos that surface from Coach Freeman, especially when he, when he got hired, everybody was fucking. Did you see that one when he walked in? Oh, bro, yeah. and everybody lost their shit. Yeah. Like, what's it like playing for a guy like that? Dude, he's sweet. He's sweet. I love him. Um, Why is that? Why do you think guys have a reaction when it's like, oh, he's, he's the new head coach? I think it was a little bit of how he was a defensive coordinator first, and then he was the head coach. So, like, he got to build a little bit of a relationship with everybody as the D.C., and he was D.C. for a year, like seven months, I think. And then he got hired as the head coach. So even as him as the defensive coordinator, I was – I mean, he would come up to me in, in stretches every day and talk to me for 10 minutes. And I got to build a relationship with him even as a defensive coordinator. And I think that's kind of why everybody loves him. And the second reason is – I kind of said this before, but he understands stuff. Like, he, he's a player's coach. He understands stuff. He understands, like – your bodies are hurting. You don't want to be doing out there running for three hours, two hours. Like, just to run. Like just to run. run. Yeah. Everything has a purpose with him. And yeah. I had coaches that, you know, there's stuff that doesn't have a purpose. Everything has a pur pur purpose with Marcus Freeman. Yeah, a lot of coaches just stick to, like, some old school ways or yeah. toughness and stuff like that. But you can build that stuff through, like, this new wave, of I feel like, of coaches that are coming. Um, how do you feel like Coach Freeman differs from Coach Kelly? Uh, a lot. A lot. Um, this is no shade toward Coach Kelly. I love Coach Kelly, but Coach Kelly would never be around in the summers or anything. Um, and Freeman's been in pretty much everything. And I think Coach Kelly was probably out recruiting or doing whatever he needed to do. But um, it's pretty nice to have Freeman around all summer long, really. I mean, he's just like in it with the boys. He's in it with the boys. You know, he's in our lifts. He's in our runs. He's in it. He's, he's you know, kind of talking with us as we're running and whatever. And Bring it up. I mean, every after every run, he gives us a speech. He gives us a talk after every lift, whatever. He that seems like a good like speech a guy. So I'm not saying that's bad or, or good between Freeman and Kelly, but right. those are just their two different kind of different styles. And I'd say probably everybody prefers Freeman's style. Especially as a player. As a and player. I mean, like you said, like it's not like you're throwing shade. At the end of the day, Coach Kelly is a very successful head very coach successful. Who's, who's went to different colleges and built programs. And But you do hear uh, – uh, you do hear he's more of like a CEO-ish type or more of an office guy, front office guy, which, again, everybody, there's there's different ways to be successful. There's different ways to win. Yeah. But, yeah, like, you get the vibe from Coach Freeman. He just seems like a fucking dude, dude. Like, who's in it with you? Did you see uh, Did you see some of those videos from BK when he went down there? Uh, yeah, I turned on that. Recruiting videos and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he got memes pretty good. Yeah, he got yeah. memes very good. He got memes pretty good. Love that, dude. We got a younger generation on here. He got memes pretty good. Yeah. What, yeah. what was the locker room like when he went down and gave that uh, opening speech oh. at LSU and had that little twang? I don't know if I can. I mean, I don't know if I can say anything what was going on in the locker room. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody like I said, he was getting memes pretty good. Um Yeah. But I mean we yeah, no, it, it, it was fucking. It is good. what it is. It is what it is. Like it was a business decision for him. He's making money. He's making big time money. Yeah. Um and you can't I mean, somebody like that who's making that much money, you can't really hate on him for doing that and going down there. I mean. Right, because, you know, it's like it's like the big part of the conversation with, like, NIL and the transfer portal and everything else. People use, like, Coach Kelly as, like, an example, a coach that'll leave in the midst of, you know, coaching yeah. a program. Because did, yeah. did he leave before the bowl game? Yeah, he did, yeah. How, how was that? that? Was like, talk, that like was... talk about that. So, I think it as was. As a player sitting there, so your head coach brings you guys in. Uh, what was it, on a text message brings you guys in? or Our season ended about, like, December 1st. I think he left, like, the middle of December, the 13th or 14th or something. And our bowl game uh, was, like, January 4th or something. So, he yeah. left. We had, like, two or three weeks to prepare for our bowl game. And, uh, no, we found out. We, Dude, I had, coach, I had coaches on the staff calling me saying, have you heard anything? Have you heard anything? Because he was, nobody knew anything. And I was like, Coach, you think I know anything? I used to want to be telling me, like, what's yeah. going on, like, with all this stuff right now. So um, we found out. We all kind of went to the same house, and um, we had no idea what was going on. We were like, are we going to lift tomorrow? We don't have a head coach. We, we had, like, a 6 a.m. lift the next day. We were like, is everything called off, whatever. Hey, let's just um, cancel that lift, boys. Yeah, exactly. So that happened, and nobody – he was gone. Nobody knew anything. There was no meeting. There was nothing. We were like, well, that was pretty quick. Like, well, where's our head coach? What, whatever. We get a, a, a Teamworks. You know what Teamworks yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get a Teamworks message, team meeting tomorrow, 6.15 a.m., something, like, pretty crazy. Um, now, had he already signed to go with LSU, or he hadn't done that yet? He was. I think he was already at LSU. You guys knew he took a plane to LSU. He, was in a, he took a plane to LSU. All right. He was down there. Um, 
And then he came back up to talk to us. And then you get that text. Yep. And then the next day, 6.15. Get that text. Next day, 6.15. He comes in. I mean, he he really didn't say I think he was talking the for The like video four came minutes. out. Yeah, the video. Yeah. That was a big thing in the locker room. Yes, somebody, bro. Somebody snuck a little video of BK's kind of go away speech and didn't go down very well within the team. But Yeah, because, um, like, it's, you, can't you know, that. you can't fucking do you can't that, do bro. That. That's, that's, that's not... Like, even if, like, how it's going down, you don't agree with it, like, just because you want you want it to go viral or, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to leak it, like, that's, like, that's like breaking the code. That's, like, breaking yeah. the culture's code. Yeah. So he came in, like, 6.15 a.m., talked to the team for, like, four or five minutes. He said the, you know, what... Yeah, yeah, we heard that. Everybody. The same exact, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. I'm glad I got to coach you guys, whatever. And he dipped. He was out. That's what we all got up for. And then we all went home and went back to sleep. And then you guys waited to see who the next head coach would be? Then we waited. I think, I Did don't Did you remember. guys have an inkling it would be Coach Freeman? There was a lot of people that wanted Coach Freeman to be the head coach. And I think there was a lot of social media presence of uh, Coach Freeman being the head coach. People were for putting sure. stuff out oh, there yeah. saying he wanted them to be the head coach. And um, I'm not saying that's the only reason Freeman got the job, obviously. Right. Um, but we were pumped. We were pumped, and then they, they told us we had a – it was probably a week after BK gave us that speech. They told us, we, go, we have a 6 a.m. lift or something in, in, the, in the stadium locker room. We never go in the stadium locker room. We have our own locker room that's kind of a ways in the goog. We had a 6.15, like, run lift or whatever, and we went there. We were all pissed. We were like, why are we doing this? Why are we up this? Like, we never do this, whatever. And we're all sitting there ready to go out and run. Coach Freeman ran through the door. That was the story. And then we didn't run or lift or anything. It was just. Y'all thought you were about to grind. Yes. We and you're like, why in the grind. fuck are we up? Why are we, we here? Oh, look at this guy. Oh, George Kittle. We thought we were going to Hey, boys. Oh, wow. What's up, dude? Wow. What's How up, son? Oh, my What's goodness. Up? You're missing a good conversation. Well, yeah. Part of the good conversation. Now, I Notre know. Dame's finest. Notre Dame's favorite Mike that's ever come out of Notre Dame, besides Mike McGlinchey. Yeah. So I had to bust his balls. Yeah. Do we have another mic? What's up? Welcome to the. Are you? Are you? Are you yeah, going to be on us? Yeah. Oh, I'll let you go. You can. Be you want to be on us? Well, yeah, but if you want to chime in, like we just want to hook you up with a mic. You, this is some good storytelling. Is it? Yeah. yeah. What's he telling you about? He's taking me through the process of uh, Coach Kelly leaving, Coach Freeman becoming the coach, and like how it all went down. Right now, they I'm were. I'm gonna hold it. Okay. I was telling. I was telling the story. We they 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 had to get us up at like six a.m. This was after uh, Brian Kelly was was fired my family yeah yeah we talked well, about that we were we talking about, about how he kind of became a little bit of a meme, meme. And stuff. Yeah. yeah yeah just a little bit yeah but uh they told us to come in at 6 a.m for like a run and lift and they were going to kill us and everything and then uh freeman just ran through the door did you ever see that video no yeah you never saw the video where that freeman got uh was becoming their head coach they said, uh i saw like the hype thing yeah like the boys just got lit when he Went walked crazy. in i saw that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. That. that was crazy yeah. We were just asking about Coach Freeman because he just seems like a fucking a dog. dude. Yeah. He's a dog. Like, what do you want to play for? Like we one of the boys. He seems he like is. one of the boys. Well, yeah, what do you, is he for the boys? He is. Wow. Marcus Freeman is definitely for the boys. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, thinking about possibly bringing the bus to the Clemson game this year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Dude, let's do it. I'm into it, bro. You'll be in season. Yeah, I won't be there, but. Yeah, yeah. I'll we'll be, there, be, hey, we'll be, we'll be rooting for you. Yeah, it's true. I'll I'll be be that game is going to be crazy. That game is going to be crazy.